G'day guys, here we are at the number eight dovetail guide. Um, we'll get straight into it. The footprint of this one is 80 millimeters by 78 millimeters. So got, it, got the rectangle tool, click once, 80 comma 78, enter, scroll in, and we will push it up by 58. Click five, eight. Now, here is where I'm gonna teach you another heaps useful trick. It's going to come in handy in so many of your drawings. Now, the first probably thing we want to get started with is getting rid of like this big chunk here. So we're kind of left with an L shape. So we want to draw an L on this on this face of our um, of our model, and then we can push out the um, sort of rectangular block there. So we're just left with that L shape. So we can see that the top of the L is 12 millimeters wide. So we'll just chuck in 12. Oh, oopsies, I'm wrong there. 12. There we go. And then we need to get um, this side of the L and that's 20 millimeters from the bottom, as we can see over here. So we'll click here, 20, enter. Now, if we grab the pencil tool and we click on this line, we wanna basically draw it perfectly in line with that. We wanna be straight down here. But to do that, we, it's not actually gonna tell us if we're straight in line with it, which is kind of annoying because we can't really be sure where it is. However, if I'm on the red axis, which is what I want to always be on to make sure I'm drawing a straight line, if I hold down shift, see how the line goes darker? I'll do it again. Shift, the line goes darker. Then, no matter where I move the mouse or the cursor, it's always going to stay on the red axis. So I can then go over here to that guide point, click, and then click again, and it gives me that L shape, right? If you hold down shift, it's going to lock your tool onto that axis and make sure you're drawing perfectly straight along there. So. Really handy trick. It'll come in handy heaps later, um, heaps later on. So I can click this, push it all the way through. That bit's done. Now the dovetail guide has two sort of half. Oh, we've got a half trapezium here and a full trapezium there, or a dovetail if you want to call it that. Um, we'll start off with this one on the side. So we can see we're 20 millimeters in from that edge, 14 millimeters in from that edge. So we'll go 20 millimeters in here, 14 millimeters in here. And I need to come 20 millimeters down on that side, 10 millimeters down on that side. So I'll probably do these with the pencil tool. We'll go 20, enter. Now, sometimes when using the line tool or the pencil tool, it wants to continue drawing a line. If you don't want to, because I don't want to click up here because it'll give me the wrong diagonal, just press escape and it gets out of that. So you, now you can draw your new line. So from this guide point, we go 10 millimeters down. And you'll see that the line's there. Don't need to click escape this time because I know that's where I want to draw my line. So I'll click there and we've completed that shape. So we can just push it away now. Right, perfect. Now, what we have here is a trapezium in sort of the center of this face. Um, the main thing of importance is we've got a center line that runs right the way through and we can see that it's symmetrical on both sides of the center line. So the first thing we want to do is Find out where the center line is and draw that in with the tape measure. So uh, we can see that it's 34 millimeters away from that corner. So from here, we'll go 3, 4, enter, and we can see we've got our guide point here. Now, something that, I don't know, you guys might want to use, you might not want to use. If we click on that point there and go straight across the other edge and click, it'll put a, it'll put a guideline in right the way across. It's just a personal preference for me. I don't like having the guideline that goes all the way across. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference, but I prefer to click once, find out how long the line is, type in 78, enter, and then I've just got the center line straight on there. Uh, it, yeah, like I said, it doesn't make a huge difference, but if you want to do that, you can. Now, we need to, the um, bits of geometry we need to put in, we need to find out where the top of the trapezium is and the bottom of the trapezium. If we look at the drawing, we can see that the top of the trapezium is 22 millimeters away from that back edge. So we'll put that line in, 22, enter. And then the bottom line is 34 millimeters away from the top edge. Uh, so from here, we'll go 34, enter. There's our two lines. Now, we can just use the geometry that's shown there, or the dimensions shown there, to go from this bottom point out 22 millimeters. Same on the other side, 22. On the top, we want to go 15 out each way. 15 out that way, right? And now we just play dot to dot. We go clicky, clicky. Oh, shit. Um, did the wrong thing there. So we're just going to go control Z. And we're going to click on that. Make sure we're on the guide point. 
guide point. Guide point, all right? I think I accidentally swore there. Don't tell your teachers, all right? Shh. Um, now, we're going to click on this push-pull tool. Click once, and uh, we want to hover the red arrow over that bottom line so we know that we're going straight through the base. See, it says on edge. Click, and that has perfectly gone through. So that looks like a pretty good dovetail guide. So what do we do? We edit, delete guides, and looks perfect. So uh, we'll go file, save, number eight, dovetail. Perfect. Oh, all right. We'll go file new so we can start our next one, and we will go to number nine, scaled block. So big tall one here, lots of dimensions on it. I uh, will get into it in the next drawing. See you there.